Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu um, The aim of this video will be to translate the book Arabiya to Bayna Yadayk and um, I will only be translating the Hiwar which are the conversations uh, in this book I feel that this is something which I kind of found uh, difficult with and I struggle to find any YouTube videos or anything um, online to be able to help me with it so I'm hoping that you guys will all find this uh, these videos beneficial also I just want to point out that I will not be discussing any kind of uh, grammar rules um, only because I think if I was to go into whether a sentence is jumla ismiya or jumla fa'liya or the sarf of it then the video will take too long and uh, I also think that it's better to study all those grammar rules with a teacher because you have a better understanding of it when you're going through it one by one instead of just listening to a YouTube video um, so yeah so let's start with the first chapter um, al wahtul Ula is the first chapter so it says At-Tahiyyatu wa Ta'aruf Tahiyya is to greet so when, when you're saying Assalamu Alaikum or uh, you're saying hello hi and so on that's all Tahiyya and uh, Wa means and at the Aruf is to introduce, like to 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 get to know someone and so on. So um, things like um, how okay, haluka, how are you, and so on. That's all tahiyya, and um, or or saying my name is Bilal and so on. That would all come under the ta Aruf because you're getting to know that person better. Now, going to the first conversation, al Hiwarul. Awal, the first conversation. Hawar means conversation. So from now on, every time I say Hawar, that means uh, a conversation that's happening between two or more people. Uh, Al Awal is um, one, so first conversation. Undur, wastamia, wa'aid. Undur means look, wa means and, so wastamia means and listen, wa'aid, and repeat. Look and listen and repeat. The conversation is happening between two brothers, Khalid and Khalil. Just before I go into the conversation, I do want to point out that I, I, I said that I'm not going to speak too much on the grammar rules of things, but there are basic grammars that everybody needs to be aware of. And that's the, the fact that every word that you come across in Arabic comes into three different categories. They're, they're either called an ism, which is a noun. Um, so book names of people. Uh, names of things, that's all um, an ism. A fail, which is a something that has an action or a tense, that's all um, a fail. So a verb is a fail. Uh, and um, then you have harf, which is a letter. Um, as, as I come across these examples in the conversation, I will point them out. Um, but other than that, I, I, I won't be explaining too much in, in regards to what... Uh, what kind of fell is it? Is it Mahdi, Mudari and so on? Um, actually, I could do that. It's not too difficult. But I won't go into whether the different um, types of uh, fell that is out there and going through the self sagir and Kabir of it. Because that, that will take too long. Anyways, so the conversation is happening between Khalid and Khalil. Khalid says, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Khalil, wa alaikum as salam and peace be upon you. Khalid says, Ismi Khalid. Ismi means my name. Ism means name. So the ya in here, which is connected to the noun, to the noun, makes it is my name. So Ismi is my name. My name is Khalid. And another thing I need to point out is uh, that um, there is no word for is in Arabic. So you just have to kind of assume that there is a there's an invisible is between the two um, words. So when you see Ismi Khalid. Um, my name Khalid you just you have to say my name is Khalid when you're translating it so my name is Khalid Mas Muka uh, Ma means what Ism again means name and now the the ending of the kaf change the ending of the word um, of the same word which is uh, Ism changes and there's a kaf uh, with a fatha on top which means you so when that whenever you see that attached to a noun that means you're speaking to one brother and you're referring to him, uh, whereas over here you, the ending changed, and you had you added an uh, ayah, which makes it yourself. Like it's me, my name. Hey, is it me? Ismuka is you be your name. So masmuk 
Almas Muka would be, um, uh, what is your name? So Ismi Khalid, what is your name? Uh, Masmuka, what is your name? My name is Khalid, uh, what is your name? Ismi Khalil, my name is Khalil. Uh, again, the same uh, example. Kayf uh, haluka? Kayf means how. Hal means situation. Ka at the, at the end of the uh, noun, hal um, with a fat on top, again means that you're speaking to one brother and you speak to him directly. So, kayf haluka? How are you? This, the word hal means situation, but in the context of it, you're, you're kind of you're just getting to know them. Yeah, and this is this is the this is the part where you we're talking about ta'aruf. You're getting to know the person. So, okay, for haluka, and how are you? Um, okay, for how are you? Khalil says bikhairin. Now, bikhairin means uh, b is a harf attached to a noun uh, ism. So, khair means good. So, with good, bikhairin with good. Wa is um. Uh, wa means and alhamd means all praise lillahi uh, for allah all praises for allah these alhamd lillah all this is uh, ism these are all nouns wa kayfa haluka anta and how are you you so wa means and kayf again means um, how hal means situation ka again is used for single brother like and something that you should be aware of is that anta and the word ka over here it has the same meaning so there's no need to include another anta if you wanted to you could just get rid of it so you could just say well kayfa haluka anta and how are you and the sentence will still be correct but you know you can add it if you want right and then khalid says bi khairin walhamdulillah with good and alhamdulillah we praise for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now in the second conversation, the hiwar thani, thani means second, hiwar means conversation. Unzur wastami' wa'id, look and listen and repeat. Khawla says, um, so this is pretty much the same conversation as the first one. The only difference is that um, the conversation happened between two sisters, so the haraka at the end will change from a fatha, like over here, masmuka, it was for two brothers, now it becomes masmuki. Because you're speaking uh, to a sister, a single sister. So the haraka will change to a kasra. So it will be masmuki. And again, when you're asking them, how are you? Anta becomes anti. That is, you have to add a kasra at the end. Now, quickly reading it again. Uh, the, the context is the same. So I'll just translate this very quickly. Khawla says, assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Khadija says, wa alaikum assalam, and peace be upon you. Um, ismi Khawla, my name is Khawla, Masmuki, what is your name? Ismi Khadija, my name is Khadija, Kayfa Haluki, what is, uh, how is your situation, sorry, how is your situation, Hal me situation, Ki again here, you're speaking to a single sister, Kayf Haluki, how is your situation, Bikhairin, with good, Walhamdulillah, and all praises for Allah, Wa Kayfa Haluki, Anti, and how is your situation, Again, this anti is there to emphasize that you're speaking the, to that sister. You don't have to add it. Uh, you can just say, okay, for haluki. And then Khawla says, bi khayrin walhamdulillah. Now, um, that's the first two conversations in the Arabic to Inshallah, in the next video, I will translate the next four conversations that's, that's in chapter one. Um, and for now, this, this is enough, inshallah. So, سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك.